We lie, boys. We lie. Can you see my sliders? My slide? Oh, good. Can't slide. Welcome back. Welcome back. Today, we've got a growth nugget on the theme of hiring and growing your team. So, it's going to be a fun one. We have been... We've been talking to a lot of business owners lately about some of the some of the issues they've been having, and it's all been centered around reaching capacity quickly because sales are through the roof, which is a good problem, right? But when sales are through the roof, you start to run into issues of needing either more equipment or more people. And what we've been seeing is an emphasis on getting more people in the door to help you do production increase your capacity, but also getting getting the right people in the door. And so that's what we're going to sit with today on this growth nugget. If you guys are just joining us, this is your first time listening to the Lawn Care Leaders podcast. I want to welcome you. I'm glad you're here hanging out with, with me and the Lawn Care Lab. So go back, catch, catch up on some of the other issues, guys. We have We have a lot of fun here. We do a lot of fun stuff. But we dive deep on some leadership topics, and we do that because, hey, we're gonna we're gonna play hard, but we're gonna work hard and be intentional about leading our team, our families, our company into a better future. And our mission here at the Lawn Care Leaders Podcast, our mission with the Lawn Care Leaders brand, is to get you to stop working a job, start owning a business, and enjoy having a life. And for you to move from working a job into owning a business, what do you need? You need people and you need quality people and you need to be able to lead them in such a way that you're all pushing towards the same goal and you are driving, 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 driving and you look back and your team is right there with you. Just making a trunch right in the direction of your mission and your goals. So really fun. If, if you were listening last week, you know we've been doing themes. Last week's theme was hiring, growing. Or, yeah, this week's theme is hiring, growing your team. <laughs> Jason D is like, Ooh. this week's theme is hiring, growing your team. Last week's theme was goals, vision, and reality. And so that's, that's kind of going to be the new rhythm, uh, is having a theme for the week. And this growth nugget is the kickoff for that. And Again, if you're new, we welcome you, and you might be wondering, what's a growth nugget? It's just a bite-sized topic, bite-sized business info topic for your small business brain to chew on as you're as you're out there working today. So before we jump into it, make sure, as always, if you have questions or you want to follow up on something that we said and, and dive a little deeper or get, to, get a little uh, background on something that I say or Simply make fun of Zach and I. People like to do that. Um, just text us 913-357-5947. Again, that's 913-357-5947. Alrighty. Well, before we get into it, we're going to uh, take a quick break listening to our own advertisement, Lawn Care Leaders Coaching and Community. So what I've been doing is just giving like 15 second gap. I think you saw that mm -hmm. in the last one there. Yeah, that was helpful. A little easier. We're getting better. Yeah, that way I don't have to necessarily scrub through. And just like tired. listen to the, yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping that'll help you. All right, guys. Thanks for thanks for listening to that. And we hope that you really do go over to lawncareleaders.com. Check it out. Have a lot of great tools and resources for you guys to meet you where you're at and get you to the, the next level in business. All right, we're probably gonna title this thing, Quit Wasting My Time. We're gonna say, Quit Wasting My Time. And the reason I, I'm gonna title this episode, Quit Wasting My Time, is you guys need to make sure in the hiring process that you don't come off desperate and that you're getting ahead of things and that you're weeding out some of the flack before they get in your door. Because if they get in your door, even though you've hired them, they're going to waste your time. And so how can we do that? You can start with the right job description, and then you can go into selling the correct things on the job description and in the interview process. So what do I mean by that? 
when I'm looking into people's job descriptions, I'm seeing them sell just the job itself. Hey, we've got, we need a guy to run a mower or we need a lawn technician or we need a, a landscape helper. And then it goes into directly four things of what they'll be doing. Hey, we're, we're doing mulch, we're cleaning weed beds, you'll be in the truck with somebody, you'll be running a, a, a crew one day, whatever it is, but you're, you're listing off like four or five things that they'll be doing. And then I also see them just directly go into pay. Hey, you're gonna be getting 15 to $18 per hour. Here's this, what you're gonna be getting paid. Here's your time off. You go right into the benefits and then that's it. Problem with that is one, you're selling the wrong thing. And two, just like I said, you're not weeding anybody out. So here's what I want you to do on your job description. I want you to go back in and I want you to create a job description that you would want to sign up for. I want you to create a job description that casts vision for where you're going. I love this idea of explaining where you're at, but, or embracing where you're at. Sorry, I'm struggling here on this Monday, James. Embracing where you're at, but explaining where you're going. And when you think through that, it's very easy to come up with a better job description. So what you're going to do is say, here is where we're going. Let me explain everything about our company. We've got this going on. We've got this going on. We do these services. We're going to be here in one year. Our dream is to be here in five years. And we're blazing a trail towards this vision. Explain to this candidate where you're going. Tell them all the great things. Cast the vision for where you're going. Explain it to them. Because I know a lot of you guys out there, you're saying, oh, it's, it's hard for me to hire somebody when I'm, I'm interviewing them in my backyard. It's hard for me to hire somebody when they're just running a mower. They're just on a trimmer. They're just, uh, they just feel like a laborer. I get it. I get it. But it's your responsibility as the owner to explain to them where you're going. It's your responsibility as the owner to cast a vision and tell them we're pushing in this direction. So that's number one. And then embrace where you're at. Make no excuses. Embrace the entire structure of where you're at. We're going to cut deep. It's going to suck. You're going to have to work really, really hard. And you're going to be doing this, 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 and this. Okay. So explain where you're going, embrace where you're at, and begin to weed people out on the job description. So rather than just telling them three job functions and what they'll be getting paid, start to tell them this is going to be the hardest thing you've ever done in your life. If you, we, we've even put this, one of my favorite things to do is if you've ever quit anything, don't sign up. If you've ever quit anything, don't even put in an application bug. It's not for you. And then we go on to tell them we work extremely hard you're probably not going to make it through spring rush. We tell them all the hard, sucky things about the job. We don't tell them anything about pay as we're explaining where we're going. And then we go into how hard it's going to be for them. We're not talking about pay. So what are we doing? We're weeding those people out before they even get in our door. And you'll get the occasional one out of 10 that still applies. You've got to weed them out in the phone interview. But usually, if you're honest with them, you tell them where you want to go, you tell them where you're at, you tell them how hard it's going to be. By the time they get to the pay, that's not important because they realize themselves, hey, this, this is not for me. This isn't going to work. Uh, we had a, we did our leadership huddle kickoff call and you guys won't know what that is, but internally with our lawn care leader clients, so our coaching and community clients, we did a, a Zoom chat. And this was only for our clients. And my boy, Sam Rankin brought up a really good point. And he said what he likes to do on his job description is he likes to put crew leader and it does the same thing. So instead of putting uh, a technician or somebody that's a part of the crew, or he just needs somebody to sling mulch, he says a crew leader. I need a, I need a crew leader that does the same thing because the people that are going to apply for that job are going to be in, uh, inherently a tier above just somebody who's going to pick weeds, right? Just somebody who's going to sling some mulch. So by saying, I want a crew leader, he's raising the bar. 
Now, if you're in the bottom 20%, deep down, you're like, oh, should I apply for this job? I really want it. And then even if some of the flack does apply for that, they're still gonna be one step above. And when they get into the job interview, what Sam said is they realize that, oh man, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not ready for a crew leader. Maybe I bit off a little more than I can chew, but at least you're getting that guy that's a little higher caliber in the door that wants to have a better life, that sees a better future for himself and is willing to put himself on the line to do whatever it takes to become a crew leader. That's the type of person you're wanting. So that's what we're saying today is make sure your job description is not just a job description. If you're just describing the job, oh my gosh, you failed. <laughs> like if somebody described my job to me on Indeed, I'd be like, oh my gosh, that dude's life sucks. I don't want to do any of that. Describing Britt's job, that sounds horrible. Oh, so you're, you're going to get up at 4 a.m. every day and you're going to DM 50 people on Instagram and you're going to run over to the Green Again shop. You're going to eat crap for three hours. And then after that, you're going to put out five fires and like, don't describe the job. Now, if you told me, hey, Britt, you're going to make an impact in 85 small businesses this year. You're going to get to 3,000 clients so that you can give your Green Again team a better life. You're going to be able to create margins so that you have another location. You're going to be able to give your existing team more leadership and responsibility next year which will in turn allow them to be paid more. And then you go into, but we got to work hard and we're going to cut deep. Now you're speaking my language, but don't describe the job to me. Tell me where we're going. Cast the vision for me. Explain where we're going, then embrace where we're at, and then tell me what it's going to take to get there. And the people that are going to sign up for that are going to be way better. All right, cast the vision. Now, any way that you can do that. Now, we're talking about casting vision. We're talking about maybe saying crew leader or turf route manager or what are some uh, what are some other good headings? I don't know. There's so many bullcrap headings right now on, on Indeed. Look up something that you feel like is going to weed out a lot of the flack. And the ones that do sign up, you get to pick and choose. So... That's the first part, guys. Make sure that your job description is crafted correctly. Now, on podcast, guys, we, we like to give free value. We like to give free advice. But we have a complete audio course on hiring, growing your team on LawnCareLeaders.com. I'm talking it's a couple hours, and we go lesson by lesson. So when I say casting vision, we have an entire 45-minute lesson on how to cast vision correctly. And so this hiring, growing your team is on there. If you go to lawncareleaders.com, if you're like, Britt, you know what? I'm digging the free advice, I'm not gonna pay. I get it, I get it, but we still wanna help you. So we give you a free PDF. So if you go to lawncareleaders.com forward slash hiring, that's lawncareleaders.com forward slash hiring, you're gonna have a free hiring, growing your team PDF. So you can go, you guys can go download that and implement those strategies into your business. I swear to you, it will help you. Uh, and if it didn't, come back and tell me why. We'll, we'll make it better for you. All right, stop wasting my time. Quit wasting my time. How do we scare people away on the job description? We scare them away by setting a, a high bar for them, telling them where we're going, and then explaining how hard it's going to be. The last thing I wanna sit here with, guys, so again, this is a, a, a growth nugget. We like to keep these a little shorter. The last thing I wanna sit with is make sure that you're selling the right things. I, I, I hear this vibrato, I hear this tone, I get this vibe that when you're selling the job, you don't, like deep down, you don't, you don't feel like your company deserves that person. You don't feel like your company warrants a killer. And why? It's because the reality of your situation is you're a lawn and landscape company and maybe you don't see the vision yourself as well. Or maybe you do, 
but somewhere deep down, you're worried about someone else judging your company. And so you're worried, if I do get a killer in here, what's he gonna think? If I do get a killer in here, is he gonna, is he gonna be like, oh, man, this is, this is just a lawn and landscape company. And so what happens is, if you believe that yourself, if you believe I'm just a lawn and landscape company, it's going to come off that way when you're interviewing other people. And so the way you search for people, what you talk about, who you find, is going to be a lower caliber person. It's like if you're recruiting a basketball team, guys, and you want to be D1, but deep down you're like, I think we're, I think we're more like a high school JV team right now. <laughs> what do you think you're going to be recruiting? You're going to be recruiting high school JV people. The way you talk about things is going to sound like that. It's not going to sound like a D1 athlete. It's going to sound like a JV basketball player. Who you look for is going to be just that. And I promise you, whatever you look for, you're going to find. That, like, that might be the key takeaway there. Shoot, Chase D, I might call an audible. That might be the key takeaway there. What you look for, you're going to find in life. I promise you that. And so if deep down, when your head hits the pillow at night, and you're thinking to yourself, I don't know if we're there. I don't know if we're ready for that key leader. In, in the back of your mind, behind all the crap of your day, you're deep down going to be searching for somebody that is a C and D player. Like, I just need a guy on a mower. Well, you're going to find that guy that's just on a mower. You're going to find that JV player. But if you lace up every day and you think, I'm a D1 athlete. The team that I'm building is a D1 organization. We're building an enterprise that screams success. We're building an enterprise that screams winning. You're looking for winners. And whatever you look for, you're going to find. So now circling back to sell the right thing. So if you don't have that, if you have that JV mindset, you're going to start selling weird stuff and you're going to start getting C and D players that love it. You're going to start selling your paid time off. You're going to start selling the hourly rate. I can't find, I can't find anybody, Britt. And I'm paying $18.25 an hour. I'm paying $18.25 an hour, Brent, and I can't find anybody. Well, bud, you're, you're leading with the wrong thing. There, I mean, you can go make, I could leave what I'm doing right now and go make more money somewhere else. The money, the money is not it for me. If, if you're selling the money, somebody's always going to jump ship. You can't, you can't right now. The reality is you can't pay enough for you to just find a killer that wants to be on a mower. And even if you could, what's gonna keep him around? Say you're paying buddy 25 bucks an hour. Now he's got he's got the leg up on you. And the next spot he goes to, I swear to you, will be 26 bucks an hour. The next spot he goes to, I swear, will be 27 an hour with more time off. So quit leading with that. Quit leading with, here's what you get in pay. Here's our expectations. Here's your paid time off. Hey, I, it, like you're gonna get this little thing here on the side. Hey, well, if we take Saturdays off every Saturday on the Saturday, you get it off. Whatever your little benefit may be, you're selling the wrong thing. You're selling the JV team. JV team's nice. You don't you go into practice, you get your butt handed to you every day, but hey, you get, you get to wear the coat, you get to wear the jacket around school. Quit selling the JV team, man. Sign people up for the right bus. Sign people up for a winning bus. Quit saying, hey, you're gonna get a jersey. You're gonna get this hourly pay. You're gonna get this time off. You're, you're selling the wrong thing. So what do I sell? You're like, well then, well, then what do I sell, Britt? You tell me. Because I'm sitting here behind my shop with my piece of junk trailer, my two, my two mowers, and I need three more guys. I need, maybe, maybe you need three more guys in a landscape crew already because you're killing it. We've, we've heard that situation too. So what do you sell? What should I sell, Britt? It's 
not pay, right? Nope. It's not what they're doing, right? Nope. You're not, you're not selling that. You're selling your vision. You're, you're selling where you're going. You're explaining again, where am I going? Cast the vision. Here's the better life. And you're calling people to be a part of something bigger than themselves. You're calling people to be a part of something bigger than just a $2 an hour pay raise. And you're gonna tell them like, hey, I know we're weird, but we truly believe that we can do this. I know, I know it's crazy to say, hey, we want four locations, but it's not just to make more money. Here's why we want four locations. You, that, that's your responsibility. It's gonna be harder. It's gonna take more time. But I promise you, the time that it takes up front is going to save you time on the back end. Because if you sign up JV players, you're going to have JV, JV problems. And when you have JV problems, it's going to make your life a nightmare on the backside. So maybe it takes you an extra two months to have to find these right people, but then you retain them for one to two years. As opposed to you just hiring within three to four days, you have some JV problems, and then you're out, you're out the door in six months. All right, so make sure that you're selling the right things. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. I know I have. It's been a good one. This is a passion of mine. I love, I love our team. I love bringing on new guys. I love casting the vision for them and, and, and stretching ourselves. And I did. I got this wrong for four or five years. I was apologetic about what we were doing. I wanted people to know like, hey, we're a lawn care company, but we have fun, man. We're, we, we have a good time. We have a good culture. We have a good atmosphere. I, I was apologetic about it. I was just like you guys. I was sitting out here right outside my turd house with my outbuilding, with chickens running around the yard, my toddlers running around the yard, at a Ford F-250 that I bought off a guy for 1500 bucks because he had gotten drunk and run it into the side of the uh, of a light pole, all right? And I'm sitting in the truck doing an interview with Buddy next to me. That was that was the reality of my situation. So I've been there. And because of that circumstance, I'm telling you, don't get wrapped up in where you're at. Stop selling where you're at. Stop selling that, hey, I'm gonna pay you base salary and commission. Like, that's great. That's a great benefit to offer, but stop selling that. Stop shying away from what you do. Be proud of it. Wear it like a badge of freaking honor. And if you're not proud of your business, that's your responsibility. Create a business that you can be proud of. Start having your guys wear uniforms. Start reinvesting in branding. So better equipment, a better truck, a wrapped truck, uniforms for the guys, hats for the guys, start to be proud of it. Wear it like a freaking badge of honor and start to sell the vision and where you're going. Be proud of it. Don't be ashamed of the business you're at. Don't be ashamed of where you're at. You're creating this. You've done this. The other thing, now that I'm talking about this is, don't be ashamed of it because you have built this. If Buddy was more capable than you, he would be out there doing it himself too, or he wouldn't be looking for this job. So just know you're already a killer. You're interviewing this guy. I just want you to create an environment where you're weeding out more people quickly. Create an environment where your job description tells a story rather than tells a task. If your job description tells the story, it's a lot easier for you to attach yourself to a story than it is a task. Here's where we've been, my friend. Here's where we're going. Here's all the grand things that we're going to do along the way and all the people that are coming with us. This is the story that we'll have from our business. Oh, that gets me juiced up. Make you want to flex on some, flex on some people. But, you, but if you explain the task, this is perfect. Remy's screaming in the background. See? Got my daughter screaming in the background here. But if you explain a task, you're always going to get task-minded workers. You're always going to get JV players. Tell the story. Tell where you're going. Create a job description that tells the story 
and calls people to raise themselves higher. That's what you're looking for. Guys, hit us up on Instagram. Let us know what you thought about this podcast. I know this stuff is needed out there. I know you guys are craving, how can I hire better? How can I recruit better? How can I bring more people on board quickly? How can I bring better people on board? So make sure that you hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube. Go subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're actually going to be throwing this podcast up there, a video of that. Just, Just engage with us. Let this be the conversation starter. This is just food for thought here. So let this start the conversation of what is actually going on in your life and in your business. We gave you the text line. Utilize that. Let us know what, what's going on in your world because we want to be a part of it. This is important to us, guys. And don't forget, please, 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 I'm giving you guys a free resource that I would have, I would have killed three small cats to get this when I was starting. Chase was like, oh, don't say that. I would have killed three small cats. I hate freaking cats. I'm allergic to them. If somebody told me, Britt, I've got a audio course or a free PDF on how to better hire. I would have killed for this. And it's niched down specific to lawn and landscape business owners. Boom. Sign me up. So please utilize that. LawnCareLeaders.com forward slash hiring. And uh, it's a gift from me to you. Don't even have to kill some little kittens. All right, guys. Keep at it. Have a great, fantastic week. What up, YouTube? Talking specifically to you, YouTube. Uh, Hey, guys, today on this video, we're going to be talking about how to hire and grow your team. And specifically, how to craft a job description that weeds out a lot of the crap. So yes, it's going to take more time, more effort, more work up front, but it's going to allow you to be looking at A and B players. We talk about a division one player versus a JV high school player. And if you're too quick and you're apologetic about what you do and you don't craft a great job description and you're just selling the task rather than the vision, you're going to get JV players. So that's what we talk about today on this video. So hope you guys are enjoying it.